I'm an electrical engineer at Oricon, and today I'm going to be talking to you about design for unpredictable demand. So what's key to the new build process? Well, there are a number of different things. It includes site location, technology selection, appointment of architects and specialist engineers. But most of all, the most important thing to remember and the important thing to establish right from the beginning is what is the IT requirement. We provided clear designs with upgrade paths which allowed us to prevent unnecessary downtime during each of those different stages. So every time we had a triggered upgrade or a triggered growth, we could expand the plant seamlessly without impacting on operational customers at any time. Your organisation has paid for a particular piece of equipment, for example a UPS, and they want to get the best utilisation out of that equipment they can to justify the expenditure. If you're only running out up to 50%, then that's all wasted capital investment that you could have saved. Consider all systems and all services. It doesn't just apply to the electrical systems, it also applies across all of the services and infrastructure. Make sure you have enough capacity across all your mechanical systems, your fire systems, and also your hydraulics and plant, fuel storage, various other things. Everything is affected by this need to make the site modular and to make it expandable as and when you need to grow. Plan your staging and avoid stranded assets at the design stage, not when you're operating. The cost of doing things during the design stage is substantially lower and a lot easier and a lot less lower risk than trying to do it once a data centre is either being constructed or is operating. 